3.35 in the afternoon, getting the booster board back out, got done with lunch, had a lot of work to catch up with at home. I'm heading out to the gym early today. I think I'm on focus. There, I'm back in focus. It's much easier to get to the gym on the booster board than it is in my car, because then there's no parking hassles. Indian roads are constantly like talk shit about for not being skateworthy, but like the boosted wheels are big enough to like facilitate that and they really just jump over potholes, it's pretty cool. Since work has been picking up so goddamn rapidly, I've been finding it increasingly hard to get to the gym regularly. Like I'd go every day for four days, then have to take a day break, and then I'd be traveling for two days, and then getting back, and I'd be busy for a day. So I end up being like four or five days, and then a four or five day break. That's. I used to film a lot of my workouts earlier, like a lot of it. Then one day I just realized that I'm spending a little too much of my vlog time with just gym footage. Uh, this did lead to the amount of me working out reducing a little bit, but overall content got a little more sharp. So that was cool. I used to take a lot of time lapses also like this. I never really noticed how good the lighting here is. Though. Damn, I should have vlogged here a lot more. But I quit all of that to pump my content. I don't know if you noticed, but the past few days have been really, really tough on me to get everything done. It's mentally and physically super exhausting. And to get a workout in and vlog creatively, narrate it properly. It's pretty goddamn tough, but it's the most testing period of my life right now. I'm thoroughly, thoroughly enjoying it. <sighs> Down that workout though, I'm gonna head out. I forgot my AirPods case back at the gym. This sucks. So this is basically what my day has been looking like. I'll wake up, get some work done, go to the gym, get back, hit another couple of meetings, eat dinner really late, work out really late. The point is that this is this is the period where everything's booming right now. It's super exciting, but at the same time exhausting. Exhaustive? Exhaust? Exhaust? Again, don't get me wrong, I'm really not complaining. What I'm trying to say is that as I move forward, the amount of work I need to do increases because of what I want to do with my life. And that is only because I'm bloody obsessed. And I've always been obsessed. It's just how I am and it's how I've conditioned myself to be from the start. If I'm gonna ride a skateboard, I'm gonna ride a skateboard every single where I go and every single city I go. So I've tried to keep like my addictive personality affordable in the sense In the sense, ever since I was a kid, I just had a tendency to get obsessed with whatever I liked. So whether it was watching a TV show, or going out late at night, or driving, or riding scooters, I, I, I usually get obsessed. People, things, games, whatever. And uh, as I move forward, I learned to channel that in the right way and it ended up working well for me. So what I try to do is I keep my obsessions affordable in the sense I'll, in the sense I'll just keep things that I... That, that are good for my health, for my life, for my career, and I'll stay obsessed with them. But just everything I'm doing right now is just not sustainable. I mean, I'll feel super cool about doing 300 things in a day, averagely, and just about getting them done, but it's just not sustainable, is it?
Anyway, my point is that uh, I basically just love staying upset. I think it's absolutely amazing for my life. I totally enjoy the fact that I can afford it. But I guess the point of this video is that in order to continue staying obsessed with all these things, I need some help. If you can edit or uh, anything of that sort, please. If you can edit, shoot, uh, if you're looking for a job, we're hiring with Main Street. I'm hiring for my own couple of companies. If you're looking for a real job, hit me up. If you can edit, hit me up. I'm desperately looking for a video editor. If you know someone, please just send them over. Email me down here. I don't know if you've noticed, but I wear a hell of a lot of white t-shirts. Okay, I gotta rush to another meeting. Ugh. Okay, uh, I just got done with my meeting. Uh, it's just incorrect and disrespectful to vlog in the middle of meeting, so I don't. Um, but I'm kind of sort of free now for a couple hours. But I've always I've got like a shit ton of pending work to do, so I think I'm gonna. But I think I'm gonna go down to the Main Street Studio and. Uh, Sit in the office space and get some work done. Okay, yo, after a long, excruciating traffic filled drive, I finally got to the studio. It's amazing. Uh, the only thing is, last time we shot out in the living room and we left the lighting there. That's where the lighting is and all that. But you'll see the difference. Hang on. Do you see the difference? Uh, here now, my face is evenly lit. The whole space is just evenly lit. It's beautiful. Okay, so I sat down here, I got a lot of paperwork done for some very interesting stuff coming up. Um, I have to now head back out to the restaurant. There's another launch party kind of scene tonight. Pretty excited. It's, uh, 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 it's another long, excruciating drive. What well, is doing? <laughs> The night that was a whole, it was like a friend, family friend evening with all my parents' friends showing up for dinner, showing them the concept, getting feedback, more like a formal introduction to all their friends. Okay, big announcement from Main Street. Because you want to let them in on this. We're launching a physical store, a physical marketplace if you will. <coughs> so today after the restaurant dinner, Kush and I went out to check out the space and figure out what we're doing with the interiors. And uh, got some cool ideas. Koregaon Park Lane 7, 6. Between seven, Lane 7 and six, 6, right next to 4 and in Pune. And the e commerce store will launch simultaneously. It'll be the first store in the country <coughs> where you can physically walk in and buy a pair of Yeezys. No, it will not be the first place you can walk in and buy a pair of Yeezys. No, but like resale. But it's the first place you're going to be able to buy a lot of cool stuff. A lot of cool store. stuff at resale, which is like Bape, Supreme, Palace, Off White. Jordans, Nike, really Adidas, a ton of super cool stuff. If you, we'd encourage everyone to sell stuff. It's gonna be a consignment store like Flight Club or Stadium Goods. Just get in touch with me on DM if you wanna sell anything, anything at all. We'll set it all up. And uh, with that, come to the end of another cool day. See you, Vedo. See you, Kushi. I'll see you guys tomorrow.